Cool Inventions, where you vote to make or break an inventor's dream. With your host, ACOS the Solutionist. Now, here's ACOS. What a glorious day right here at Invention Land, my cool inventions network. I'm ACOS the Solutionist, your host, co hosting today with me, my kid brother, Andrew Jankira. There's our kid brother. And you know something? You know, two of us have got some great heritage and history pitching. We've spent 10,000 hours pitching on trade show booths. Yep. Let me tell you, wasn't that great? Remember those days? Yeah, absolutely. I'll never forget them. You know, you, my that's, feet still still hurt. My feet still, still hurt. <laughs> <laughs> you stand on boots every day. I'll tell you something. You go home, your feet are aching, and after 20 years, they still hurt. <laughs> yep. But you know what it's all about. This show is all about invention. This is all about inventors. And what we do is we try to feature an inventor. We do, do, do something really cool in the educational segment. We even sell an inventor's product at the end of the show. But in the beginning of the show, we always talk about uh, uh, an inventor who comes onto the show. We interview them, and they pitch their products to you. You guys, and you guys vote. You know how you vote? You go to mycoolinventions.com. That's mycoolinventions.com. And you look the video there, you big thumbs up or a big thumbs down. We, You decide who has the next $100 million. It's not about us. In fact, last show, let me tell you about the last show. I got my glasses on here, Andrew. The All last right. show we had Perry Segreto and his Emerger Loom. Remember that? Oh, yeah. Remember that? That was kind of cool, you know, the, you, you replaced your plug socket there, and, and it had an emergency light, so when the power went off... Yeah, it's just like a kind of an airplane kind of strip where you have the lights, you can get know how to get out of the house. Yeah, so cool. that's exactly right. You know, it's a, that's a great analogy. It's like it's like being in the airport where you say, you know, the lights go off, the runway, you have these emergency lights, get you out of the place, and you can convert them in. It's a great invention. I thought it was a great yeah. invention. In fact, let you, I'm, I'm going to tell you how you guys voted in a second, but first, I want you to hear the pitch. Let's hear... Perry's pitch. Do you have any ideas? I have a great idea. Pitch it to me. Pitch it, pitch it to me. Hey, I got an idea. Well, let's hear it. Okay, man, it is. In the middle of the night, you hear your smoking detector go off. You get up and go see what's going on. You walk into your hallway of your bedroom, and it's starting to fill with smoke. It's pitch black. You get down low and go. Or, what about if a storm comes through and it rips your power? You try to get your family to a lower level to save me, but again, it's pitch um, introducing the emergency room, uh, the first and only residential emergency light that will get your home, your family to safety. Um, up to four hours of power illumination, uh, and it's going to recharge and sell the back, back up. So it kind of works with conjunction with a smoke alarm uh, in your home. So it's another additional uh, safety feature uh, to protect your family and save lives. And uh, it can be found on www.patnolighting.com. That's P A T N O Lighting.com. Make or break an inventor. Be our shark and vote. Be bold and submit your product. What the heck? You can only make millions. How'd you like that, Andrew? What'd you think? It was great. What did you think of the pitch? Thumbs up, thumbs down. What's the deal? Oh, that's thumbs up for me. Thumbs sure. up for you. Well, yeah. you know something? Not only did Andrew say both thumbs up, not only did ACOS vote thumbs up, 100% of you, every every last vote was a thumbs up. I think this is a huge winner. Perry got this massive thumbs up vote, and I think that's quite awesome. And let me tell you something. You guys are voting. And I want you to comment on the Facebook stream right now. We're, we're streaming live on the My Cool Gadget stream. We're streaming live on Facebook on My cool inventions we're streaming live on youtube live and on the roku channel if you go to inventions and gadgets on roku tv amazon fire android tv we're streaming live over there also and also on 53 radio stations not for nothing so lots of people i see greg is saying dubois saying good morning on the my cool gadgets yeah. facebook stream i see nicole leon leon said morning on there so just say 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 something morning uh tony throw the invention stream up there too so i can take a look at it also so everybody Everybody's up there. Everybody's saying hello. That's a good idea. So there's Perry's pitch, right? Not a bad pitch. 100% thumbs up. He yep. might move on to Inventor Showdown. He might move on to the next stage where he can go on the reality show Inventor Showdown. Now, today we have an inventor. His name is Sheldon Levinson, and he has this thing. I have no idea what this thing is. It looks like a, what is this thing, Andy? What do you think this is? On there, it looks like a kind of hose of some sort. Like, I think I think I'm watching uh, well, that show I saw on the reality show where they were 
they're doing the you know the stills in the back. What was it called? Oh, yeah. What was that reality show <laughs> oh, called? On the Discovery called. Channel. It's a uh, you know they're they're, they're making moonshiners or whatever they call oh, them. Okay. They're moonshining it. bootleggers yeah. or whatever they're called. So Sheldon, huh. welcome to the program. Good morning. So so what's the deal with this? What 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 is a t- no tools rain saving device? Well, you know, there's a lot of people out there that actually care about saving uh, sustainable uh, rainwater. Uh, and my wife was one of them. So uh, she, that's what happened. I, uh, uh, I can't cut into my downspout, so uh, I stick this in at the bottom of the downspout, okay. and it uh, basically uh, uh, swells up and okay. when water hits it, and you connect your hose to it, and you can fill up all your rain barrels or any containers that you have. Uh, it feels like... Uh, 200 gallons an hour. So it's, what? it's pretty simple. You can take it out. You can put it back in. I mean, well, it's so, uh, just... Uh, hold on, we got uh, questions. Uh, Did you just say 200 gallons an hour? Yeah, out of that 5 8 inch hole. Wow. Because it, re- it reduces, it narrows the opening in the 2 by 3 standard downspout. Okay. Right. When it gets wet, that white thing expands. Okay. And creates the, the pressurized hose. So, so what's, that you can, you, once you connect the uh, hose at the bottom where your hand is, where that blue thing is, right, yeah. once you connect that, your hose, right, you here. can put the hose anywhere you want. You can run it 100 feet to deep water landscaping, or you can just stick it in a barrel. You don't have to have Ooh. any diverters anymore that you cut into your downspout. So what do you got in here? Some kind of an expansion silicone deal or something? And this, exactly. gets, this swells it's, up? It's, I call it my special sauce, but it's special basically sauce. a special yeah. polymer. Okay. All right, so, so that's kind of funny. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Can you believe this? The guy invents this thing on the end here that expands. Okay. So what is it? Like plugs up the whole the, the pipe downspout. Down, right? down so spout. the downspout's coming down like this. It gets inside. It reduces blocks the it. diameter of the downspout. Wow. My goodness! And, and what's this? The blue? What's the blue thing for? The blue thing is to hold it in place until okay. the white thing expands, so it doesn't oh. fall out of your downspout. Okay, and you put the hose up here, and you got this power hose that you can go uh, fill up stuff with. Bingo! Nice. nice <laughs> what nice. do you think? Yeah. What do you think of this thing? That's pretty cool. I mean, it you makes know. it sustainable. Yes, he's absolutely right. It's great for the environment. You can uh, use all the sustainable water. It's great. So, you know, idea. I mean, 200 gallons an hour. That's amazing. My goodness. That's amazing. How much does it rain where you live? Well, not a lot in San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> so we, every time it rains, we can't get all we can get. So it rained yesterday. Remember it was raining yesterday? Yeah. It rained so hard that it rained inside my car and the windows weren't down. Wow. That's how hard it rained. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. if, it, if, if you get all the rain you want, you can pull it out, too. This, it's reusable and... And removable. Are you selling these things anywhere? Yeah, on Amazon, eBay, and Etsy. Are you, you make, what do you make? But there's a deal on Amazon right now. You're making these by hand or what? Yes, I do. What in the garage? Yes, sir. Uh, we, we, I, I'm out well, of control and better, and I got like 40 different things, but my I, I have to concentrate on one at a time, and thank you for the opportunity. I have to hear his pitch. <laughs> I got to hear this man's yeah, I gotta, pitch. Yeah, I gotta we got to hear a 60-second pitch out of yeah, you, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to give you 60 hot okay. seconds to pitch it to us, 60 hot seconds, and everybody is going to get ready to vote. I want you to vote by going to mycoolinventions.com, hitting the vote button, and you're going to give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down on the vote button. So thumbs up or thumbs down on mycoolinventions.com. I want everybody to get ready. We're also on the Facebook streams. We'll also throw the voting platform up there. So if you're on the Facebook, we'll throw that up there. You can vote by clicking the link on there also. All right. All right, Mr. Sheldon. Are you ready to give us your best 60-second pitch from San Diego? Uh, No pressure. Let's do it. (laughs) You got any ideas? I have a great idea. Pitch it to me. Pitch it. Pitch it to me. Hey, I got an idea. Well, let's hear it. Okay. I I have invented what I believe is a game-changing, rain-saving diverter. And uh, my... 
uh, I'm a retired senior, and my uh, when my wife of 45 years asked me to save rainwater outside with a mere bucket, I didn't do a very good job. Felt there was a better way to do it. I did not want to cut into my downspout since I live in a homeowners association where it's prohibited, and so I came up with a device that is simple, inexpensive, less than 20 bucks, requires no tools, basically free installation in seconds and is reusable and removable. It's a disruptive technology for contractors since it's so easily installed by the homeowner. It's now selling on Amazon, eBay, Etsy. Uh, it basically fits in any standard two by three downspout, can save over 200 gallons an hour. And uh, it just does Make or break an inventor. Be our shark and vote. Be bold and submit your product. What the heck? You can only make millions. Good golly, what a pitch. There it is. There, th This guy's invented the fantastic little... Now I get it. Yeah. This thing uh, swells up in your pipe. You got a, you got a hose connection and you can pump, fill up barrels of rain for, what, 20 bucks, right? And what do you think of this thing? It's pretty cool. What do you think? Will you pay 20 bucks for it? So uh, worth 20 I, think, bucks too? I think it might be, yeah. Especially if you're collecting water, right? Absolutely. We have Same. droughts here in Florida. You know, when it comes to winter, we get really droughts. Everything dries, believe it or not, everything dries out. Now, you lived in the desert for 20 years. Yeah. Uh, they have droughts. I, you guys, when you guys get rain, they didn't have roofs on their houses where you lived, some of them. Yeah, so it's like, you know, it rains for like 20 minutes. <laughs> but uh, the whole sky falls on you in 20 minutes and then yeah. it vanishes, right? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, then, then of course uh, there's no drainage, so then everything's flooded everywhere. Yeah, so you want to get this 10 minutes. Hey, everybody, vote. Go to mycoolinventions.com yeah. right now. Vote, vote, vote. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Mycoolinventions.com. Go vote there right now. Is this the next $100 million product? I don't know. It's up to you guys. You vote. And if you're an inventor, submit your products to mycoolinventions.com. Get on our program. Maybe you have the next $100 million idea. We're always throwing those used dead batteries away. That can get pricey. And battery rechargers are big and bulky. How do we get around this problem? Hi, I'll make off the solutions to tell you that most people have a USB port and we have USB rechargeable batteries. That's right, plug the USB AA batteries into any USB port and recharge them. It even lets you know with an LED indicator the status of the charge and there's a present voltage control circuit to prevent overcharging. The USB batteries can be charged up to 500 times. Now that's a lot of charges. Get these incredible USB rechargeable batteries and have charged batteries whenever you need them. Normally the USB battery sells for $39.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, the USB batteries are only $15.99, and you buy one, get one free, get two batteries. Click on MyCoolGadgets.com or call 1-888-877-0490, one 888 -877 order now. You have beautiful potted flowers, and they're all on the patio ground where you really can't see them. And you have that fence that is plain and empty. Hi, I make us the solutionist with the perfect solution, the Flower Pot Perfect Hook. These hooks were created to bring your potted plants up off the ground to eye level where they're in plain view. And they'll make that fence beautiful with flowers all around. The Flower Pot Perfect Hook is made to hold most potted plants that have a lip. Make your yard, garden, and patio beautiful with flowers. Normally, the Flower Pot Perfect Hook sells for $29.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, get four hooks and two support arms, all for $14.75. That's only $14.75. Call 1-888-877-0490. That's 1-888-877-0490. Or click on mycoolgadgets.com. Order now. Problem. Too many bottles, cans, or cups are dropped in the lake or they get warm on the beach before you're ready to refresh. Solution? The Floatinator. With the Floatinator, you no longer have to worry about dropping or having lake water spilled into your drink. Plus, both of your hands stay free. Hi, I'm Make Us The Solutionist. Now you can take your drink into the lake, pool, or ocean and have your hands free at the same time. 
It's a cup holder with a tether line that you attach to your wrist so it floats with you. Made with a foam float ring for buoyancy, it also has a unique counterweight ballast that protects your drinks from wakes, waves, and cannonballs. Enjoy the water and your drink at the same time with the Floatinator. Buy it now. Normally the Floatinator sells for $39.99, but with the special promo code FLOAT, you can buy it for $29.75 for the next seven days. Call 1-888-877-0490 or go to mycoolgadgets.com. You're out at night and you need some light. You didn't take a big flashlight, so now what are you gonna do? Now that is a problem, but I have the answer. Hi, I'm Make Austin Solutionist with the Next Torch. It's the small thumb light you can put in your pocket. The Next Torch has a special white LED that is gentle to the eyes and has a reach of over 15 feet. Unlike other small light, this one even has a stand that lets you rotate the light 360 degrees. It also has a magnetic bottom plate, a bungee cord, a carabiner, which offers you countless ways to use your light. On the hood of your car, bungee to a tree limb, or just attach it to your jacket. It truly is the perfect pocket utility lantern. Normally the next torch sells for $39.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, we have it for $19.75. Go to mycoolgadgets.com or call 1-888-877-0490 or go to mycoolgadgets.com. Order now. Welcome back. You're tuned into the My Cool Inventions Network. Ah, Makos, the solutionist, your host. Co-hosting is Undor the Organist right here, my <laughs> brother. Let me tell you something about my brother. He doesn't brag enough. That we got to get some video up here. This guy's one of the best jazz organists, keyboard players in the face of the earth. Let me wow. tell you something. He had a concert here a couple of Fridays ago. Tore it up. Here in St. Petersburg, was Florida. Fun. Was it the what was it, Casino, Manhattan Casino? Manhattan Casino, yeah. What was that? Fun. That was a historical place, wasn't it? Very historical. Tell yeah. everybody about that place, because I was really moved by that, how historical that place was. Tell me about, tell you were up there playing on the on the stage of the greats. Of the greats, yeah. When uh, Back in the day when segregation was there, it was a place where all the black musicians used to go and play in, here in Florida. And it was, what a beautiful thing. It's, it's like the stage where James Brown, Ray Charles... Uh, all these kind of uh, like Duke Ellington, all these kind of cats that come in and and are very famous, and they come to town, and that's where they would play. So it was very famous, and very historical. And, and, and he was playing on the same spot and the same stage, basically, as those guys, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I got to tell you something. We were in the audience, and it was like it felt different. Like it wasn't like a, a jazz club you would go. Like I hate to say this because I'm going to sound racist, but not like a white jazz club. We go today's jazz club. Right. This had this had like a table feel. People got up and danced during the concert. Well, you know, it was like it well, was back like, in the day. Don't forget though, that kind of music. Like jazz music was the pop music of the day so people dance to it it, it was, was dance great. music and, and it was what, it what a vibe it had such yeah. a vibe to it such a yeah. positive vibe and uh, then he went to uh, he sat in on Ruby's Elixir which is a real famous uh uh, sort of a jazz club, jazz club here, and, and even the famous musicians who come through town. And we thought we thought uh, we were going to see Harry Connick Jr. that night yeah, because he was, he was in concert that night in town. And then sometimes they go into Ruby's after. And uh, Andrew was there; uh, uh, they were in a jam, and you sat yeah. in for a set. And yeah. the place roared when he finished. Oh my goodness, the place roared. He took day. over. And uh, the great news is Andrew's staying. He's going to come. Uh, he's going to maybe you might be able to see him in more concerts. So he's extending his stay a little bit, so yeah. you can uh, you can come see him in concert, so we'll talk about these concerts when they come up. Now, <laughs> let's get back to old Sheldon here. He gave right. this crazy invention called the No Tools Rain Saving Device, and the pitch was awesome. I really like this. So, Sheldon, here's my advice for you, okay? Okay. You need to watch, uh, you go to my cool, well, go to the YouTube page of My Cool Inventions, okay? And I want everybody to subscribe to that YouTube page, by the way, so, okay? And I want you to um, uh, go to Selling Secrets. There's a, there's a section called Selling Secrets on the YouTube page, right? And I want you to look at the segment called What's in a Name? <laughs> because not for nothing, the No Tools Rain Saving Device, great description. Yes. Not a good name. A little long. <laughs> little long. Oh, that's right. On there. Well, so, I have actually solved that problem on eBay. How did you do it? What's the name there? I it's rain uh, rain uh, barrel diverter or rain. Uh, I got four names: rain collector, rain uh, water diverter, rain barrel accessory, and uh, 
you know, and that's on Etsy too. All right, so you've just made other descriptive names. Right, okay, yeah. so what, what I suggest you to do here, those are great second lines in the name. Like, it should be, <laughs> okay. like, yeah. like don't listen don't listen to me, because I'm the guy who, one of my most famous product was called Floor to Ceiling Laundry Pulse. Yeah, so. Yeah. Like, <laughs> some, some, somebody came along to me and says, couldn't you call it, like, Insta Closet? Couldn't you call, you know, yeah. something like that? I go, yeah, I could have, but I don't know what I was doing back then. So I want you to come up with a name, Sheldon, for this product. Go to YouTube. We have the My Cool okay. Inventions YouTube page. Just go to YouTube, put in My Cool Inventions. One of the se- you'll see the shows there, but one of the segments there. And by the way, you can download your own video. Like you can see the segment there. It's called it's called uh, Selling Secrets. And in there, there's something called What's in a Name. Go watch that episode because I want you to name this thing properly. Right. Second thing, I noticed Ginger Chang. She's on the My Cool Gadgets feed. She just gave you a thumbs up there. She's one of the ladies who actually helps source my products from the Orient. She's been doing it for. Oh, she's gonna get mad when I tell you this. 25 years but she only admits to five of them so so you know and let me tell you something if you gave this to a designer so here was what i think andrew and i were talking about in the break right right i love this part right this right. is great swells up in the water and i love this part so maybe um you could have this finished so maybe this could be like a a, a finished area so it looks professional because right. this looks a little handmade which is no note is fantastic right but we could polish this up a little bit for yeah. you right yeah get this make a little bit and by the way don't big me in your garage have you know somebody because I don't think there's much to make this. There's good, there's good profit margin this for everybody, and uh, name it properly. What do you? What do you? What's your input on this, Andrew? Yeah, I'm thinking about a name. That's a, t- a tough one to name. Right. We were going through names the other day. For we were going my through. My Jewish the name. friends want. My Jewish friends wanted to call it a gutter stuffer, but uh, because you stick it in, and when it gets wet, it swells up. Oh my goodness oh gracious! My. Seriously, did you say that out loud on television, live on air? Oh. Is that what you just said? Does anybody catch that on the red button? No. Okay. On there. Oh my god. You know, you know, half my radio stations are the Christian wow. right. You know, I got, uh, I got some, I got some radio stations that uh, might take a bit of sense of that, but we don't care. So, <laughs> no, I'm just, of course we care. So, Sheldon, this is kind of a good idea. We want you to yeah. name the product, though. This is a good lesson for name you. Name the product. Name the product. And by the way, when you're naming the product, uh, you need to get the dot com. So whatever you name the product, so rain saver. Save and by the way, you, 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 like it, what, what you have save spout. Yeah, save spout. Yeah. Yeah, I think the guy just gave it up for you. Safe spout, and I'll tell you why that's a good name. If the safespout.com is taken, right, on there, you should get Steve Streetman to see if Safe Spout's uh, taken on there. Go see our Steve Streetman guy. Safespout.com is a good name, and I'll tell you why. Because it's it's not descriptive, and it's got a double S. Uh, and I love double consonants. Like uh, like Walt Disney taught it to us. When, as far as branding is concerned, Walt Disney was an expert, right? Yep. Andrew, give me an example of some Walt Disney terms. Mickey Mouse. M.M., Mickey Mouse. Give me Don- one. Donald Duck. Donald Duck. Donald Duck. D.D. No. You know what else? Marvel did this same thing, too. I didn't Marvel. The guy who did the Marvel things, uh, he okay. copied that. Uh, Tony, give me some. I, I don't know any Marvel characters, but I got a guy here who's a millennial or whatever. <laughs> Bruce Banner. Bruce Banner. Bruce B.B. Banner. Well, give me another one. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, oh, oh! Put him on the spot. Now. I'm putting him on the spot. <laughs> so, so, so branding, branding. Uh, Coca Cola is another one. Yeah. CC, right? Double consonants are great names because people remember them. So, SafeSpout.com, SafeSpout, good name. Yeah. All right. So everybody, give him a comment. Hey, listen, I want you to vote for this guy. This guy's pretty cool. I like this guy from San Diego. So, <laughs> so before you retired, before you retired, there, show. What did you do for a living? I dealt with the in the RV business, uh, motorhomes, trailers. I sold them. I bought them. You know, it was a uh, kind of wild ride. Doesn't that guy look like a I movie star? Them. What does he look like? He looks like a yeah, movie looks like star. Yeah, like a movie or something. Or a porn star. I don't know if <laughs> so some kind of a star. Some kind of a television star. Look at him. He's got the great big mustache. Good hair. Look at the guy. Big hair. Good hair. I love that. That guy. That guy's. It's the. It's the Mark Twain look. Mark Twain, that's the guy I'm looking for. He looks like Mark, Mark Twain. Twain look. RV salesman comes up big with a rain-saving devout called the Super Spout. Anybody, yeah. you guys like the Super Spout? Comment on Facebook right now if you're watching. Do you like the name Super Spout? Do you like the name? And share the video. Everybody share the video on, on there. Hey, listen, this is a good idea. I actually like this idea. If I asked you to make 500 of them, how long would it take you? Uh, two weeks. Two weeks. Wow. Huh. You know what I'm thinking. You know what I'm thinking. If he gets a good thumbs up, but maybe uh, Inventor Showdown. This is guy kind of Inventor oh, Showdown yeah? product. What do you think? Yeah, this this might work. Good for summer, fall. Maybe the third Absolutely. season. You know, third season Inventor Showdown. Yep. Hey, you know what you got to do, Sheldon Levinson? 
You got to go get your thumbs up yes, vote. Sir. That's you got to go get a thumbs up vote. So do you do you, do you email people? Do you have Facebook? Do you have social media? Do you any do any of that? Uh, I think I'm on LinkedIn. You're on LinkedIn. Do you have a flip phone? What what do you got there? <laughs> just kidding. No, I got an iPhone. iPhone? I'm just joking with you because I tease my father every time. I never forget my father. You remember, Andrew, when my father figured out how to text? Oh, yeah. He sent us a text. I figured out how to text. And I know it took him an hour to text that thing. But but he listen, I want you to send everybody you know the link, okay? And I want everybody to vote thumbs up because if you can get a massive thumbs up vote on this thing, I'll present this to the Inventor Showdown team to see if they're interested in this. This is a kind of cool idea. Yeah, I've even, I've even improved it over more time now so now yeah just got to improve the now you just got to improve the name because i'm not sure the no tools rain saving device.com is is a great name i'm not sure i'm just you you guys think it's a great name you vote all right everybody vote for sheldon thanks buddy thanks <laughs> all right thanks for being on the okay. program mycoolinventions.com hit the vote button Go there. The thumbs up or thumbs down? I, I like a thumbs up. It's a good idea. Yeah, I think so. It's a great idea. Yeah, I think so. I, mean, I like the way that thing swell, swelled up there, and he's got a pressure washer coming out of Same his downspout. environment. Spot. That's what I like. Yeah. yeah, and the water. Fill up all those barrels. We've got the rain Fresh, barrels full water. up. Use Sheldon's idea. Go to his Amazon. Look for uh, whatever that. No, no tools rain-saving device on Amazon or wow. eBay or Etsy. Maybe this is the $100 million idea. You take that last sip of coffee before your meeting and you guessed it, it's all over your shirt. Now what? Hi, I make Austin the Solutionist and you can solve that problem with the S2O stain removing pens. The S2O pen is a concentrated stain remover that you can take anywhere. Put it in your purse, pocket, or your car. The effective stain remover can remove any stain from ink, grass, cosmetics, or food off of anything. Just take the pen and rub it on the stain and the stain is gone. Simple as that. So enjoy that cup of coffee knowing you have the S2O pen in your pocket. Normally a three pack of S2O pen sells for $19.95, but today only on the Daily Gadget, a three pack of S2O pens are free. You heard me right, free. Click on mycoolgadgets.com or call us 1-888-877-0490. Get your three pack of S2O pens for free right now. Problem, the matches are wet, lighters damp, how are you gonna start a fire? Solution, survival steel. This simple, brilliant device ensures that you can start a fire every time, even in the rain or snow. It's safe, fast, it even could be a lifesaver. Hi, I'm Akos the Solutionist, and let me tell you about survival steel. It's made from cerium, which is one of the Earth's element, and it can make a spark hot enough to set a fire to almost anything. If you've ever needed to start a fire, survival steel will do the job under any conditions. Look at this. In the rain, dripping wet, or in the middle of a snowbank, survival steel starts a fire each and every time. This 3,000 degree spark isn't red hot, it's white hot. Survival steel is a necessary tool for all out Normally, Survival Steel sells for $19.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget. Buy one, get one free. Both for $19.99. Call 1-888-877-0490 or go to mycoolgadgets.com. Those hanging baskets you bought are expensive, and you see more of the basket than the flowers. That's not what you wanted. You want flowers and more flowers, not baskets. Hi, I'm Akos the Solutionist with the perfect solution, the Betta Basket. The Betta Basket is a unique way you plant your flowers. There are 12 holes around the lower and middle of the basket with removable panels that make it easy to plant your flowers. When done, your Betta Basket will give you a perfect flower arrangement from the start. As they grow, they will sculpt themselves into something truly amazing. It's also perfect for growing strawberries, tomatoes, and herbs. All you see are flowers, fruits, and herbs. Betta Basket normally sells for $29.99, but today only on The Daily Gadget, you can get it for $19.75. Call 1-888-877-0490, that's 1-888-877-0490, or go to mycoolgadgets.com. Okay, you're exercising. You need cardio equipment, strength training equipment, and all kinds of other pieces. That's a lot of stuff, and it can be expensive. If you don't have the space or money, that can be a problem. Hi, I'll make us the solutionist with the solution, the Workout 180. 
This one piece of equipment incorporates strength cardio stability exercises to give you a total workout. It's not only an exercise step and balance board or a push-up bar, it also comes with resistance bands. The seven different levels allow you to reach your results by consistently increasing the band resistance. The Workout 180 is affordable and an effective way to reach your personal goal. Normally the Workout 180 sells for $199, but today only on the Daily Gadget, the Workout 180 is $59.75. That's $140 savings for the best workout system you can buy. Call 1-888-877-0490. That's 1-888-877-0490. Or go to MyCoolGadgets.com. Order now. Your car is as hot as heck, and that stupid folding thing keeps falling down, not protecting the inside of your car at all. Hi, I make us the solutionist, and that can be a problem. The solution? The keep cool sunshade. With this sunshade, you simply attach it to the windshield with suction cups on the passenger side, pull it across the windshield, and hook it on the other cup on the driver's side. Done. Easy, quick, and no mess from that flicking cardboard folding thing. The answer to keeping your car cool the easy way is their self-retracting Keep Cool Sunshade. Normally one Keep Cool Sunshade sells for $19.95, but today on the Daily Gadget, half price, $9.75. Not only that, the next 50 customers will buy one, get one free, still only $9.75. To boot, free shipping. Call 1-888-877-0490, that's 1-888-877-0490, or go to MyCoolGadgets.com. Order now. Welcome back. You're tuned into the My Cool Inventions Network. And this is a segment we call Selling Secrets, where we give you some insight into the industry, teach you stuff and secrets how to sell your product more and better. Right. And I'm going to tell you something, which is really, really it was sort of shocking. Last week or a couple weeks ago, um, one of the places where we sold stuff, right, inventors would go to, entrepreneurs would go to, there was this big organization, Andrew, called the Electronic Retailing Association. Okay. We called them ERA, and they held these conventions all around. The big convention was in Las Vegas, this huge ERA conference in Las Vegas, where all the marketers, people who made infomercials and TV commercials, they all gathered. And this is the place where we used to take our products, we used to find an infomercial company, or maybe if we had an infomercial, we used to show it to all the international community. And you know something, this is where the awards were granted. You know, I've got those two awards on my mantle right, for right. being best demonstrating presenter uh, in, in live shop for a couple years, and this organization was decades old, They're really an old organization, it goes back to the roots. They even owned the website called retailing.org, if you can imagine, wow. and all of a sudden, they announced they're closed, done. Wow. They shut the door, boom. No explanation, no nothing, just turned it off. Wow. I mean, can you imagine? I mean, it's a trade show that we all love, that we all went to. I mean, what do you th what do you think? I know you're I know you're 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 a musician, and you're you know kind of looking at it from the outside. We get too we're like the forest from the trees. You know, right. we get too into it. Electronic retailing organization was our was our was our was our gig was our was our well, was our foundation was, maybe, was our you know maybe on TV it's getting a little old. Maybe something needs to move forward. Maybe it was like. Uh, you know, you gotta adapt to the times. You gotta see what's going on. Maybe they're maybe they're stuck still in the TV retail kind of thing, or I don't know. Like, so, so you, that's a good point you bring up because no? television retail. I mean, people are looking at TV differently. But, but you know, you know, you know. I, I don't know. How do you watch TV? How do you watch TV at home? I barely watch like a cable. I'm on internet TV all the time. So internet TV, like what kind of internet TV? Well, you know, I have Apple TV. You watch Netflix or whatever. You know, you know. So, so you don't turn on Channel Nine or Channel Eleven. You go, you hit your Apple TV, hit the internet, and yeah, and I have NBA.com, and I'm watching the NBA, every NBA game. You know. So, so that's an interesting point because TV viewing habits are changing like crazy. So, what Andrew's suggesting that the TV viewing habits change so fast. That maybe the organization that was doing television commercials for television didn't change fast enough to catch up to it. That's right. Yeah, that's right. I, I got to tell you a funny story because you know the players. Okay. So my son Peter, his nephew, right. uh, and my daughter uh, Christina, who is niece, right? right? What happens is they come visit me simultaneously. They're never down here ever at the same time, right? They, okay. they came down one time a couple years ago, and they were here at the same time, right? And so what happens is they walk up to my television in the living room there, and they start pointing at a box, and they're 
laughing out loud. Peter goes, hey, Christina, come over here, come over here. Look, look, look what dad's got, look what dad's got. He goes, look, look, Christina goes, what is that? And then and Peter goes, it's a, it's a cable box. I think it's a cable box, I'm not sure. I haven't seen one for years. I mean, it's been so long since I've seen one, I'm not sure that e- what that even is. Is that a cable box? I go, yeah, and they all started laughing at me. I bet your dad watches Blue Bloods. I bet you he records Blue Bloods on CBS, <laughs> right? And then, and then he records it so when he wants to, he can watch it. And I went, shut the front door. That's exactly what I do. <laughs> That's my thing. He, they all laughed. Ha, ha, ha. And then I had an Apple TV box on top. And I didn't realize you can go to the Apple TV, hit the CBS app. Yeah, there you go. And watch, watch Blue Bloods whenever, you want. whenever I want to. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. I go, you know, that's, I was kind of an old dinosaur too, you know. Yeah, that's what like, happens. Like, like, and I think, I think what happens is the television, are you guys watching TV? If you're on Facebook, comment right now. How do you watch your TV? Is it, is it, is it on Apple TV? Is it on a Roku TV? Is it on cable? Is it on direct TV, satellite? Tell me. Ask, ask me uh, what's going on there. Uh, I think... I think uh, we need to find out just exactly what's going on. So, 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 tell me how you watch TV. Is yeah. it broadcast television? Let me tell. Let me tell you something about. You said something about your sports. See, I like broadcast television because I can watch the Rays. Okay. I can watch the Lightning live. Sports is still live on broadcast television. Well, I watch it live too. How? Same thing. You go Get on up. to. Well, listen. In Dubai, let's put it this way: they're not all watching the Tampa Bay Rays play what? baseball. <laughs> nah, they don't know anything about baseball. And, or hockey <laughs> or any of that kind of stuff. And basketball, maybe. They might be on, or NFL football might be on. But to be honest with you, I subscribe to these, these dot-coms, and I can watch live if I want. Or if I'm sleepy, because in Dubai it's on at 4 in the morning if it's live. All right. Then I'll watch it in the next morning. Really? Because it's recorded. What do you mean? And they even have condensed versions. What? And if I, for example, Skip- I want to check out what the Blue Jays did and somewhere else... And you know, and then compare it with the Rays did. I can go back and check out the condensed film and condensed version. Condensed version. I would love to see baseball condensed. You know what else would be good? Condensed golf. <laughs> I think I could watch a whole yeah, golf not, tournament not in big, thirty seconds. Yeah, not a big. Okay, golf, oh, oh, golf hole in one. No, oh, that's a good shot. Oh, bad shot, bad shot, bad shot. Boring shot, boring shot, boring shot. Oh, look, hole in one. I mean, that would be really good condensed. So, right. what happens? It goes faster. What happens in the condensed version? No, no, they just cut out the commercials and stuff. They show you the highlights. Has, no, well, more than highlights. So it's like a um, thirty. It's more like a thirty-minute, for example, game. Football would be a good thing to watch yeah, condensed NFL's too. Done that way. What are the only? I think I, I'm going to offend Al, our producer. In football, what do they only play like six minutes of sports? Right, the rest of it's all just <laughs> whatever they hanging around, calling plays or whatever. Right, right, Al. It's only really like six minutes of running, right? Isn't it <laughs> or something condensed? So, so, so people are watching internet television, and I think what happened in the ERA case is that it came fast. Like we all said, okay, yeah. maybe not in our generation, maybe in our kids' generation, that's going to be the new one. But the ERA, the Electronic Retailing Association, the direct to consumer convention, these guys were, you know, when I went there, I found media buyers, and I knew, I know they knew they had to switch to the digital platforms faster. But what do you sell on the digital platforms? I mean, when you're watching all the stuff from Dubai, do you see any commercials at all? Yes. Where? You see, just just the uh, normal. See. They're using the normal commercials, what they would put. Now, sometimes they don't pay for the rights of the commercials, so therefore they'll put highlights of, like, for example, I was watching baseball, then they put highlights of past games and years of yesteryears. And very inter- and that's what they do. So there's no, there's, but nobody's utilizing that space. So the commercial the break commercial. is there, but if the guy, the Gillette hasn't paid for the Dubai market, that's they show right. some highlights. That's, that's interesting. Right. So another thing I want to teach you, my son did this. My son's actually an analyst for a really, really big digital advertising agency. They handle American Express and big, big Fortune 500 firms like that. And he came to me and he says, um, he said that I want to, I want you to do 20 second commercials, these pre rolls, right? Mm. And you see these on YouTube, right? You know that video that you ever, you know, you're watching your YouTube. Video, that video in the front. Yeah, that's called a pre-roll. And he says, "Dad, I want you to, uh, I want you to do a twenty-second pre-roll and then drive them to a website. That's the new media. That's the selling secret. So, video yeah. content is everything. Listen, nothing's changed. Actually, my son said it best. Nothing's changed. We're still watching stuff, and we're still buying stuff." But where we're watching is changed. Right. We're not watching the boob tube anymore. What do you used to call it? The boob tube? Yeah. With the clicker, right? 
right? Clicker. <laughs> I used to play as a clicker. But it, but what's what's changed is we're watching this thing. We're watching our tablets. We are watching the big screen too, but we're not watching as much broadcast television. We're watching digital. This program, for example, this this, this program, for example, is on Roku TV on Inventions and Gadgets channel. If you have a Roku TV and Amazon Fire and Android TV and soon the Apple TV and soon Samsung Smart TVs, you can go to the Inventions and Gadgets channel and see this program. Even we're doing that. In uh, Facebook, Facebook's another one, right? Yep. Facebook Live is a new... Absolutely. Are these the new channels, do you think, Andrew? What do you so, think? I think so. Facebook Live? Even YouTube, even YouTube is a TV channel. How, what are you talking it's about? It's like YouTube it's, it's TV. It's like just videos up no, there. No, no, now it's changing. It's moving forward and moving that way into television as well. So, so... So these are the new channels. It's not ABC, NBC, CBS. It's going to be Facebook, YouTube, and hopefully, you know, people are jumping on board the Netflix and that sort of thing. Yeah. Hey, I see. I see. Uh, speaking of video content, a famous video producer of ours, good friend David Carrera from Japan, wow. is commenting on the My Cool Gadgets stream. Kenichiwa. He says, <laughs> he says <"Hello>, <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> "So video content, but video content's king." Let me tell you something. We're going to do a webinar next week uh, for inventors and entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs, we privately invite them to the webinar, and we're going to talk about video content because video content's everything, right? All these Facebook pages and these pre-rolls and these commercials—it's all about high-quality video. Video is king. Even on Facebook, they say a picture on Facebook gets one tenth the attention of a small video does. Maybe right. my my son is right. You got to do twenty-second videos. Absolutely. You know, Peter came in and saw the studio in here, right? Right. And he says, "Dad, stop writing thirty-minute commercials. Dad, stop writing two-minute commercials." And his wife. Uh, Megan is also in the advertising business, okay. but she's on the selling side, and my son is on the the the, 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 analyzing, the analyzing side. side. So it's the front office, back office type deal. And they both sat me down and said, Dad, you got to do 20-second pre-roll. So the selling secret, guys, is you got to get a video of your invention, a video of your shop, a video of your store, maybe in a 20-second sequence that drives them to a landing page. It drives them to a web page where you can do your serious selling, right? right. So tease them. We do something called Banana Man. I mean, you know, I don't know if you watch our commercials. Yep. The Banana Man's kind of that. That was my first uh, jaunt into sort of a viral type of a video that goes cute enough that you might follow, right? Right. So we did a Banana Man thing for Stains Are Out. We did a little short video. And, of course, the, the, the objective there is to drive you to a website so you can buy Stains Are Out. Mm -hmm. and the, speaking of Stains Are Out, how long have you and I been selling Stains Are Out? Oh, a long time. <laughs> I still remember going to the source way back, and it was just a one man guy. One man, and we was the we're like, hey. Remember bottling it in my dad's garage? Yeah, then we had to bottle it. Oh uh, yeah. I came. I came home one day and I said, "Dad, we got an order." Well, who the stains are? He goes, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah." Oh great, HSN is going to buy some. Oh, and yeah. I go, "Great, oh, it's only yeah. five thousand bottles." <laughs> We were up all and night. We hand bottled five thousand bottles. And by the way, hand bottled. My dad rigged up a funnel and the thing. And oh, we, siphoning it out of the. We had to start the siphon, <laughs> put it in my mouth, and then, and then, okay, what, okay, okay, get it going. That was unbelievable. So if you're an inventor out there, and you don't think, you know, like Sheldon there, making them in his garage. Yeah, our first invention, we made it in our garage, in too. In the garage, yeah. 5,000 bottles. And uh, we got a reorder for like 20,000 bottles. But at that point, we took it to a bottler. I couldn't do it to, <laughs> yeah, I couldn't do it to my father. Do it <laughs> there's, some, there's some selling secrets. There's some selling secrets for you. Video content. We're going to talk a lot more about video content in the future. Little pre-rolls, driving to a web page to do your serious selling, because maybe people aren't watching TV as much anymore. Well, there's your selling secret. Go sell, sell, sell. Get selling. What's the idiot? You ruined the car. Stop. Stains are out. Stop the screaming with Stains Are Out. Oh my gosh, this is the greatest stuff ever. Thank you so much, Banana Man. Who was that Banana Man? Saving the world one stain at a time. Learn the secrets of bananas in my Stains Are Out at StainsAreOut.com. Problem, you're jogging and dehydrated from lack of water. That small water bottle attached to your waist is empty and hot and uncomfortable. 
solution, the Hydro Water Bottles. These ergonomically designed bottles encourage proper form and posture while running and walking. They provide upper body exercise and hydration. Hi, I'm Akos the Solutionist and let me tell you these Hydro Water Bottles are fantastic. You get two 16 ounce insulated bottles with easy to hold handles making them easy to carry. The two pounds of water weight will exercise both arms while jogging. You can even add more weight. Run better, exercise better, feel better with the Hydro Water Bottles. Buy it now. Normally the Hydro Water Bottles sell for $49.99, but with the special promo code H2O, you can buy them for $39.75 for the next seven days. Call 1-888-877-0490 or go to mycoolgadgets.com. Charging devices in the great outdoors in extreme conditions is always a dilemma. How do you charge your phone, tablet, or maybe that light? It can be a real problem. Not anymore. Hi, I'm Akos the Solutionist with the Extreme Tactical Power Bank. This power bank is portable, rugged power source, uniquely constructed with an integrated 18,000 milliamp battery. It's waterproof, shockproof, and dustproof, perfect for your next invasion. It has two USB outboard ports to charge two devices simultaneously. It even has a short circuit protection. The four LED indicators show battery life and status. The Extreme Tactical Power Bank also has a 30 meter torchlight, perfect for spotting your enemies. This power bank lets everyone enjoy the outdoors without worry. Normally the Extreme Power Bank sells for $99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, 59 bucks. Call 1-888-877-0490, go to mycoolgadgets.com. Problem, there's one or two times in the day you want to feel clean, but that isn't always the case. Solution, Bob's Butt Wipes. Their all-natural paraben-free formula ensures that you will be fresh and clean. Without exposure to harsh chemicals, it features a unique hanging dispenser that installs in seconds on your toilet paper holder. Hi, I'm Akos the Solutionist, and let me tell you, you can trust Bob's Butt Wipes that keep you clean. These wipes are biodegradable and dispense in under three minutes so your sewer system will remain clog free. You can easily put them into a specially designed dispenser or take them with you on trips. They come in a variety of designer containers for the children or the outdoorsmen. Check out Bob's Butt Wipes for yourself. Wipes that work as hard as you do. Normally the Bob's Butt Wipes sell for $19.75, but today only on the Daily Gadget, buy one, get one free. Call 1-888-877-0490 or go to mycoolgadgets.com. Problem, it's raining and cold and you need to start a fire, but everything's wet. Solution, survival wood. This one piece of wood can save your life. Just chip some pieces from the stick and ignite it. It'll even burn when soaking wet. Then it burns hot, just add some more survival wood. Hi, I'm Akos the Solutionist and that's exactly how you save your life, by starting a fire to keep you warm or signaling for help. Survival wood is made from the Guatemalan pine, rich in resin. It's a light wood that can be cut easily with the grain. Just a few chips will start a fire for you in any condition, in the rain or in the snow. But if you're in bad weather, a match or lighter may not work. Check out Survival Steel that can ignite the survival wood under all conditions. In the great outdoors, always have survival wood with you. Normally, three pounds of survival wood sells for $19.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, $9.75. Just call 1-888-877-0490 or go to mycoolgadgets.com. Stains are out. Wow. Stop the yelling with Stains Are Out. From zero to hero, thank you. Who wants that Banana Man? Saving the world one stain at a time. Banana Man knows the secret in my Stains Are Out. You can too at StainsAreOut.com. <laughs> Wow.
what a gadget. Here's the problem. It's summertime. The mosquitoes are coming. The bugs are coming. The no are coming. You're being under attack. You're under attack. Solution? The mosquito bulb right here. Check this out. You turn it on. The mosquito zapper in a bulb. What a great idea. You can have the mosquito zapper on all by itself. You can have the bulb and the mosquito zapper. Replace your bulbs with the mosquito bulb and zap them away. Get the privilege and the pleasure of watching them fry right there on the mosquito bulb. Normally $59.99. Today with the What a Gadget, it's $29.75. That's right, $29.75. Go to mycoolgadgets.com. It's so easy. Unscrew the bulb, screw your bulb in, replace all your bulbs with the mosquito bulb. Maybe you got a kid in the bedroom. Maybe you got something by the back door there. You want to put the mosquito bulb in and zap those suckers once and for all. No more no CMs, no more mosquitoes and Paul the mosquito bulb. Normally $59.99. Today, $29.75 at mycoolgadgets.com. Hey, Andrew, what do you think about the mosquito bulb? What do you think about that? Oh, I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> Easy installation. Perfect. So so actually, take a look at the inside of this thing. I mean, I'm going to show you. I don't know if you can get to see inside. Right there, it's got, it's got the, you know, the zapper. You know, you see oh, yeah, those zappers. zappers. You know, you know <laughs> it's, it's, I don't know if you can see it. See the blue light in there? Well, that's the zapper. Okay, that's got the like, powerful electricity going through it. And you fry those suckers. They, they get a lure to it. They go, ooh, ooh. nice light. Everybody fly into the light. <laughs> Just like that. And all those moths and mosquitoes and no seams. Wow. I came to Florida. I never knew what a no seam was. I thought, I go, seriously, I studied in university. I studied in the, in the biology and the science. I never, right. no seam. What is that? It's a, it's a bug that you can't see. They call it no see them. No see them. No see him. It's like One a word. southern. It's like no a seam. southern word for mos a really small mosquito on their no seems. But they bug you. Oh, Tony, you're going to come in and talk? Yeah, you said no see them. It's no see a M. Oh, I'm they sorry. like the southern. Yo, know, southern. So we you leave out southern, the th. Southern fire down here. So in the here. summer, you just sort of leave in the in the south. You sort of leave parts of words off, right? Yeah. Okay, I got it. It easier that way. <laughs> it's easy that way. Easy that way. Yeah, easy fun. that way. So there's the there's the mosquito bulb. I think it's a really cool idea, and it's got a couple settings, Andrew. So you can have the zapper on all by itself. Let's say at night when you're you know people are going to sleep, you don't want you know the kids yeah. are asleep. Put this in the kids' bedroom, or if you want to use it as a regular light bulb, boof, you got the light bulb and the zapper together. So this is working for you all the time. It's attracting the mosquitoes. It's attracting them the no seems or whatever they say no here in the south. No seems on their leave words out, and, or they're tracking the flies, the moss, and they get allured to it. This is a great idea because, you know, I got to tell you something. We have um, all kinds of, uh, you know, in, in school we learned it, but it's getting worse. Uh, these uh, these diseases that are, that are, that are, that are, that are travel with the mosquito because they're right. blood, they're blood diseases and they, 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 prick, you know, they, they, they take, they, they sting somebody, they fly to the next guy. You don't want any of that nonsense. You want to zap them with the mosquito bulb, uh, the mosquito killer bulb. I love the name of killer bulb. Kill them. Mosquito um, killer ball. Now, they're normally $59.99, so we got a less, less than half price, so wow. $29.75. $29.75, you can go to mycoolgadgets.com. That's a cool gadget. And let me tell you something. It's really easy to install. Let me show you something. This is just a regular light bulb, right? So I've got right here, I don't know if you can see the, see the inside there, that's just a regular light bulb socket, because this could be in your living room, this could be in your dining room by the front door, this could be those lights, uh, you know, you may have a couple lights in the door there, the doorway there. Yep. You can take all those, and you simply take the light bulb you have in there and you simply remove it and put the mosquito killer bulb in there and now you've got a regular light bulb right but this light bulb is different because inside you've got that zapper technology that's built right into it i actually really love this product this is a really really cool product because you're going to yeah. use it every day and now that it's summertime summertime all across the country even even Minnesota, the finally ice finally melted. They told me, the, all, all of a sudden the mosquitoes are out. Oh my. Of course, mosquitoes and flies. Remember camping? We used to go what, black flies. Oh my goodness, yeah. Oh, they Absolutely. were terrible. We used to That's go camping horrible. with the scouts. I'm already yeah, scratching, just thinking about it. Oh my god, yeah, I'm already, I'm scratching it. Just, uh, it's crazy. Those things take a chunk out of you. Oh yeah. Those things bite you. Like they're like little uh, alligator flies. They the come. Black and they take flies. A, oh my goodness. They, they call them horse flies. Horse right? flies. Yeah, horse flies. Horse flies. Yeah. And I think they were attacking the moose even. They even bugged animals like moose. Oh, it's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Terrible. So we used to get, uh, you know, we used to put all kinds of stuff on us. Instead of putting all the chemicals on, you get the mosquito killer bar. Yeah. Even the horse flies, even the alligator flies, or whatever you got flying around there. You want to kill them and zap them. See, what happens The technology here is this this light here, this is a UV light inside, and that UV light 
isn't the zapping part. That's the attracting part. So those UV lights there, that's a special uh, UV wavelength. And they're attracted to that purple UV. Mm -hmm. They say, oh, look at that. That looks like paradise. I'm gonna <laughs> it looks go, like a party in there. It looks like a party in there. I'm going to fly in there. And of course, you see the cage? You see the metal cage in there? Yep. Yeah, that's full of electricity. <laughs> yeah. That's the you zapper. zap them and fry them. And it's like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so, so they get allured by the light and they get zapped and fried. It's kind of like those big lights. Remember those, you know, I had a neighbor. He's the, oh, you know, yeah. Remember we, that? <laughs> And it also violently burns them. Remember, remember that? Remember those things? So it's yeah. the same technology, but you put it in the light bulb. Got to tell you, not bad. Normally twenty nine ninety. Sorry, normally fifty nine ninety nine. Wow. Twenty nine seventy five. The mosquito killer bulb. Everybody, go to mycoolgadgets.com. Go there right now. Mycoolgadgets.com. Go pick up. There, we have a few of them up there. It's today's wag. We call it a what a gadget. W a g yeah. the wag. I'll tell you why I like the word wag because I like to say wag more, bark less. This is all happy stuff. It's a happy place to, 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 to see some really cool inventions. And this is a really, really cool gadget. I love this cool gadget. It's the name of MyCoolGadgets.com. I think this is what all the kind of stuff you're going to see on MyCoolGadgets is kind of cool like this. Wouldn't you love to have a zapper bulb oh, in the yeah. backyard there? I mean, kind of a good idea, right? Or how many times have you went to bed and you're, you know, there's this one mosquito. <laughs> you're Oh my gosh! And oh you can never goodness. find them in the sleeping never. bag, right? Absolutely. I used to I used to go into the sleeping bag. I used to I used to cover up the sleeping bag just like, and I didn't care if I sweat like crazy. I just wanted relief from the mosquitoes. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. Just uh, the relief from, from mosquitoes. We were on our camping days on there. So and then you know that one mosquito you could never find, and of course he eventually bit you. Yeah, on there. You actually hope that I just bite me already, so I can go, yeah, go to finally sleep. go to sleep. I can sweat in my sleeping bag and go to sleep on there. But you know, mosquitoes are kind of dangerous. All these kind of uh, uh, these, these 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 sort of sl uh, the blood uh, insects are kind of dangerous. They're they're they're, they're disease born sometimes. Uh, yeah. All kinds of disease things like uh, you know you, the Zika virus. We're talking about a lot. Yeah. I mean, there's there's some serious stuff that the mosquitoes carry around. And if you have a kid, like why wouldn't you for twenty nine seventy five? And by this way, it's an LED light. This will last you forever. This this light yeah. bulb is the last time you'll ever buy a light bulb for that lamp. These things last tens of you know these things will last my life probably outlast your life. <laughs> I mean these the lifespan of this and it's not hot because they're LEDs. They're absolutely not hot, right? Gives off huge light, but it's not warm at all. I mean just 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 an LED bulb can cost you twenty bucks. Now this thing has the the mosquito t killing technology. It's got the zapper technology in it. It's got the LED technology and also LED draws almost no current. Did you know that LEDs are eighty five percent less power up to 85 percent less power than regular wow. bulb wow on there you know let me Amazing. tell you something if you had a electron like this electricity in your house my electrical bills 500 bucks let's say 300 bucks of that was my lights and if i could save 85 percent of that so for example my 300 dollars portion becomes 45 bucks wow seriously you mean i'm saving uh, 250 bucks just by swapping out my light bulbs for led light bulbs yeah you can save a ton of money and a side thing zap the mosquitoes away right yeah. so there's some save a ton of money zap the mosquitoes exchange your light bulb for these normally 60 dollars 59.99 on today's wag of 29.75 29.75 you go to mycoolgadgets.com and by the way if you haven't been to mycoolgadgets.com you don't know what you're missing cool stuff that's where the inventors products go that's where we find the coolest things on there if you want regular stuff go to amazon or something you want the really cool stuff go to mycoolgadgets.com snoop around check it out you're going to see some very cool things that's today's wag on my cool inventions problem. It's an emergency. You're stuck in the car with no power. The windows are up, the doors are locked, and it's 95 degrees. What do you do? Solution, the tactical pen. Anybody can break the window without hurting themselves. Grip the tactical pen and tap the window and it'll break. No need to hit the glass with your fist or elbow. And also it has many other functions. Hi, I'm Mikos. The solution is here to tell you that the tactical pen is the superman of pens. The tip is made of tungsten steel and it's designed to break any window with one tap. It also serves as a deterrent against your assailant. And here's the best part, it's a perfect pen. You can even write upside down with its Fisher Space cartridge. Break out, protect yourself, even write a note with the tactical pen. The tactical pen sells for $59.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, $29.75. Call 1-888-877-0490. That's 1-888-877-0490. Or go to mycoolgadget.com. 
you have beautiful potted flowers and they're all on the patio ground where you really can't see them. And you have that fence that is plain and empty. Hi, I make us the solutionist with the perfect solution, the flower pot perfect hook. These hooks were created to bring your potted plants up off the ground to eye level where they're in plain view. And they'll make that fence beautiful with flowers all around. The Flower Pot Perfect Hook is made to hold most potted plants that have a lip. Make your yard, garden, and patio beautiful with flowers. Normally the Flower Pot Perfect Hook sells for $29.99, but today only on The Daily Gadget get four hooks and two support arms, all for $14.75. That's only $14.75. Call 1-888-877-0490, that's 1-888-877-0490. Or click on mycoolgadgets.com. Order now. Your car is as hot as heck. And that stupid folding thing keeps falling down, not protecting the inside of your car at all. Hi, I'm Akos the Solutionist, and that can be a problem. The solution? The Keep Cool Sunshade. With this sunshade, you simply attach it to the windshield with suction cups on the passenger side, pull it across the windshield, and hook it on the other cup on the driver's side. Done. Easy, quick, and no mess from that flicking cardboard folding thing. The answer to keeping your car cool the easy way is their self-retracting Keep Cool Sunshade. Normally one Keep Cool Sunshade sells for $19.95, but today on The Daily Gadget, half price, $9.75. Not only that, the next 50 customers will buy one, get one free, still only $9.75. To boot, free shipping. Call 1-888-877-0490. That's 1-888-877-0490. Or go to mycoolgadgets.com. Order now.